packages this week that have been a little bit like action replays of each other with slight differences. The sprint today, you seem to take Van Aert's wheel, then Moise kind of shoved you off. Talk us through the last 500 metres or so. Yeah, um, ended up on Van Aert's wheel after the rest of my team did an incredible jump to us, bringing back the breakaway in the last eight kilometres. And, uh, I was in a perfect position the whole time and uh, yeah, maybe I hesitated a little bit as I didn't, um, you know, as Laporte swung off, there was a bit of confusion with Van Aert as well. And, uh, but yeah, I think they were both pretty quick in the sprint as well. When you take Van Aert out of the equation, how do you feel about the sprints you've done sort of in isolation this week? Yeah, the sprints uh, have definitely been faster in the past. Um, I was doing more track work, obviously, but um, you know, to be up there and compete for stage wins, it's, if he wasn't here, I'd have the green jersey as well. So, uh, yeah. Is it difficult to just think about performances and not you know, get slightly, well, I don't want to say distracted, but end up thinking about the results and thinking about third place and thinking about how close you were again? Um, yeah, is it hard to just focus on the execution? Yeah, sorry, I don't answer the question. <laughs> you, uh, is it, you know, you, you've come close many times this week, um, and I guess you're going to feel frustration at not having got the win, but um, uh, how difficult is it to just really focus on you know, your performance rather than the results? Yeah, I mean, you learn and improve all the time, and uh, also in a game of probability, if you come on the podium enough times, you also win enough times, and uh, I've won 15 races so far, so um, I hope they keep going. And at this stage of the week, how are you feeling generally about your Dauphiné so far? Um, really good, yeah. It's been uh, a couple of close calls, but Filippo won yesterday, and uh, the rest of the team's been doing an amazing job, and uh, I've really got to thank them, thank them for believing in me today. How tight was that chase back there? It was a close uh, call, and what about the work of Filippo Ghana and the rest of your teammates to bring it all together? Yeah, Lauren, Sandra, and Filippo started to pull at first, and uh, they did most of the damage, to be honest. And, um, that, that was incredible, and then even Criato and Teo and Eddie and I guess Jumbo ended up finally putting a couple guys right at the end, and uh, it was just about enough to catch the break. Were you worried at all? Because at one point it looked like the escape would, we thought the escape would win at one point. Yeah, I mean, I think the whole race was uh, was motorbikes. To be honest, I mean, when bike exchange was pulling, we were sat right behind the motorbike for a good hour, and uh, the breakaway actually pulled away. So they must have been doing the same thing, and it was um, quite an experience in the wheels, I think. But, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. What are we looking at tomorrow? Maybe the breakaway, maybe a bunch sprint again. I think it would be uh, similar to today, and come close on the line. Thanks, George.